Hi, I'm Andy from Gellert and we're in the showroom today to show you how to set up and pack away the Bliss range of tents. Before you start setting up the tent, it's a good idea to get all of the parts out of the bag and check you've got everything you need. In the bag you'll find the main outer tent or fly sheet, the inner tent or bedrooms, a separate divider for the bedroom, a loose ground sheet for the front canopy, some multi-section fiberglass poles, two steel king poles and a set of steel pegs. The next stage of setting up the tent is to open out the fly sheet. Remember with a tent this size it's always important to have two people setting it up. To begin setting up the tent, first roll out the fly sheet, then open it out and lay it flat on the floor. Once the tent's in roughly the right position that you want it to be pitched, you can secure the two back corners with pegs. Once this is done, you can then start to insert the poles through the sleeves on the tent. All of the poles on the Bliss are the same, so there's no worries of where they go. Insert the fiberglass pole into the sleeve and gently feed through. Make sure all of the sections are properly connected as you do this and also that you always push the pole as pulling it will separate the sections and it can get stuck. Then repeat this for all of the poles on the tent. Connect the poles to the tent using the ring and pin. Simply take the pin, insert it into the metal end of the pole Fly sheets then secured to the poles using the C-clips. Once you've done this, lay the pole flat on the floor and repeat along the tent. Once you've finished connecting all of the poles to the tent, stand them all up together, then starting at the end you've already secured with pegs, slowly walk the tent out. As you do this, make sure that the fabric is tight between the poles. Once you get to the end, take the centre guy line from the canopy section and secure it to the ground with a peg. This will hold the tent in place. The next stage is to erect the canopy Simply put the pole through the sleeve and connect to the tent in the same way as the other poles. Once you've set the canopy up, you then need to secure the tent with pegs and set up all the guy lines. Before you do this, remember to close all of the doors. This will stop the zips being put under too much tension and make sure they all run smoothly. To adjust the tension on the poles, place the bottom of the pole close to the ground sheet. Pull down on the webbing strap. This will tension the pole and also the fly sheet. Finally, for pegging, place the peg through the metal ring, approximately a 45 degree angle away from the tent, then hammer into the ground. To adjust the guy line, take the runner in one hand and the line furthest away from the tent, slide the runner back towards the tent, this will lengthen the guy line, peg into place, hold the runner again, and take the central cord, slide the runner away from the tent to tension. When you finish putting the bedrooms inside the tent, you then just need to peg in the ground sheet in the canopy and your tent's complete. To take down the Bliss tent, first remove the bedrooms, then unpeg all of the guy lines and the peg points on the tent. Finally, remove the poles by removing the C-clips from the fly sheet and also the pins from the end of the poles. Lay the fly sheet flat on the floor and it's ready for folding. Fold the end canopy over the top so you've got a nice square to work with and then start folding. To fold the tent, take one side into the middle 
and then repeat with the other side. We then need to fold one side over approximately a third of the tent and repeat with the other side. At this stage, get as much air out of the tent as you can. Once you've folded the tent, start at the back, place the loose ground sheet on top your bedroom or inner tent and the bedroom divider and finally the poles in the carry bag then roll around the poles make sure that you roll towards the door of the tent as this will allow any air trapped inside to escape Once you've rolled up the tent, secure it with the two fabric straps and it's ready to go back into the bag.